this brief history of Scarborough train station. Scarborough train station, formerly known as Scarborough Central train station, is a grade two listed station serving the seaside town of Scarborough in North Yorkshire. It lies 42 miles or 68 kilometers east of York and is one of the eastern terminus on the North Transpennine route operated by Transpennine Express. The station is also at the northern end of the Yorkshire coastline and is reputed to have the longest station seat in the world at 456 feet or 139 meters long. Scarborough station opened on the on Monday the 7th of July 1845 following the completion of the line from York. It had a wrought iron and glazed roof. 348 feet long by 88 feet wide in two spans and 30 feet from the rails. Above the refreshment room was originally the station master's house, later the station hotel with 10 bedrooms. At first there were two platforms connected at the north end. Gradually as traffic increased modifications were made on the station layout to accommodate excursion traffic. Two new platforms were added in 1883, now known as platforms 1 and 2. A separate waiting room and more facilities were provided. The station clock costing £110 was added in about 1884, which is equivalent to £11,161 as of 2019. The original goods were yard, which was next to the station building, became platform six to nine. Trains for the Forge Valley line often used these four platforms. Platform 1A was cut out of platform one for easier access to the Whitby line and opened for the beginning of the summer timetable in 1834. Until 1965, the station also served a line from Whitby and until 1950 from Pickering. The station was previously named Scarborough Central to distinguish it from the now closed Scarborough Lundisburg Road on the York to Scarborough line. In the late 1960s, most of the route that covered platforms one and two were demolished, leaving these platforms outdoors. Though the platforms still remain in use today, by the early 1980s, regular use of platforms six to nine had declined, and following a simplification of the track layout in 1985, they were taken out of use and demolished. The land they had occupied is now occupied by a car and coach parking. Though the overall roof and brick walls remain, the current Blackpool to York service used to continue to Scarborough 